Hello everyone and welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this interesting cube equation. We have a cube plus 5a equal to 42 and we need to find our a. Solve for a. How can we do this? I want to show you my really good approach. How can we, how can we solve it? First of all we bring this 42 on the left hand side. We will have a cube plus 5a and minus 42 equal to equal to 0. So what are we going to do next? Let's write this 42 as 27 plus 15. Of course, we can do this. So let's do. Let's write it. So this 42, let's write as 27 plus 15. So we write this 42 as 27 plus 15 equal to zero. Of course, equal to zero. And this is the same. A cube plus 5a and minus this. So I hope you understand this step. We just write this 42 as 27 plus 15. So what we're going to do next? Take a look why this is really good for us, because right now we can group this a cube is 27, so let's group this and 5a is 15. We will have a cube plus 5a minus 27 and minus minus 15. So I open this, open this parentheses and we group this. We will have a cube minus 27 and plus 5a minus 15. So I hope you understand this step. We just group group elements right here a cube and 27 and right here 5a and 15. So this is the same. But why this is good for us? Because 27 can be written as 3 cube. And why it's good for us? I show that a little bit later. So a cube minus 27 3 cube and plus, but take a look, 5a minus 15, if we factor from here 5, we will have in parentheses a minus 3. And this is good for us because right here we have 3 right here, so this looks like we can easily factor this a minus 3. But right here we have a formula, a cube minus b cube, difference of cubes. And let's learn this formula, a cube minus minus b cube. So it will be equal to a minus b and times a squared plus a b and plus b b squared. So let's learn, learn this formula. Let's let's use this. If we apply this formula to this a cube minus 3 cube, we will have all the same, but instead of b, we will need to write 3. So as a result, we will have a minus b, we will have a minus 3, a minus 3. In second parentheses, all the same, but instead of b, we'll have 3, so a square plus 3a and plus 9, and of course this 5 and a minus 3 plus 5, and in parentheses a minus 3. And I hope you see right now that we will have same expression a minus 3 right here and a minus 3 right here, so we can easily factor out this expression, so a minus 3. And in second parentheses we'll have this expression, a square plus 3a plus 9, and of course plus 5, plus 5 equal to 0. And finally, as you can see, we factor this, this equation, this interesting problem. So this equal to 0, this is a classic, classic rule, because if two parentheses equal to 0, then a minus 3 equal to 0. From here a equal to 3, and the second roots and third root right here, so we will have the first root a equal to 3, and right here a square plus 3a and plus 14 equal to 0. So as you can see I add 9 plus 5, it will be equal to 14. So this is our, this is our, as you can see this is our first root, a equal to 3, and let's find another roots. So from here we have a equal to 1, b equal to 3 and c equal to 14, so we can easily plug into our formula. Of course, you, if you solve it in another way, you can easily easily solve it using your formula, but I solve it right, right, right like that. a2 and 3 will have minus b minus 3, I write it as plus minus, square root b square minus 4ac, so b square 9 minus 4 times 1 and times 14. 4ac and dividing by 2a by 2. Let's simplify this a little bit. We will have minus 3 plus minus. If we subtract 9 minus 56, we will have minus 47, which signals uh, that we will have complex roots right here. So let's simplify this and we will have, we will have our answer in, in complex numbers. 
So minus 3 plus minus, let's separate it using this logic. So minus 1 and times square root of 47 and divide in by 2. If you know a lot about complex number or if you don't know about a lot about complex number, this is equal to this is equal to i. Square root of minus 1, this is equal to i. And as a result, we will have our final answer. But this will be equal to minus 3 plus minus i square root of 47 dividing by 2, or we can rewrite it in another way, minus 3 half plus minus i square root of 47 dividing by 2. This is real part, this is imaginary, imaginary part. So I hope you understand this explanation. If you still have any question, write your question in the comment. It will be really interesting to read it. As you can see right here, we have two complex roots and one root in the real number. We can easily check these roots. We will have 3 cube plus 5 times 3. What we will have 27 plus 15, which is equal to 42. So 42 equal to 42 and we'll have our root. So let's write answer. answer answer a equal to 3 and I put it in in brackets we'll have a equal to a equal to 3 if you still have any question write a question in comment it will be rinsed to read it and subscribe for more videos if you enjoy it I really appreciate it see you in the next videos